Okay, this is Brian from expertboards.com and today we're just going to go over the program from Advanced Quests called Fixit Utilities 9 Professional. Now, I have only used this program once before. I have done one scan, I believe. See, I don't even know. Which I figure is going to make it all the more better of a review for you given that I won't be able to lie about anything on the program because I have not used it yet and you'll see me use it for virtually the first time. Now, apparently from what I'm seeing here, we have antivirus and anti-spyware in the program right here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click on antivirus and anti-spyware or AV slash AS. Now we have a quick scan, a deep scan, which um, on my recommendation from using other antiviruses I recommend a quick scan every day and a deep scan scan, excuse me, once a week. Uh, I usually prefer to do it Sunday. Uh, usually do it right in the morning when I wake up, when I leave for the morning. Um, then we have a uh, custom scan, which is um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, you'll be able to select the files and folders that you want to scan, programs, whatever, downloads, hey, that you're unsure of. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you have a quarantine manager, which I did get the chance to check this out, and this is where you would manage files that you have found that were bad. Um, like here, when the first scan that I did, only scan that I did, I had three files put in quarantine. Now, um, it's basically just like a virus vault. Um, it neutralizes the program without deleting it in case it's something that you would like to keep, which in this case, this program here I would like to keep because this is an advertising toolbar for my website. So, I'm going to click this, check the box, and click restore. My way speed bar. I am not aware of this program, so and I also want to get rid of the tracking cookie. So, I'm going to click results to select all of them, this little checkbox here, and click delete. Now our quarantine is empty. Our quarantine manager side. Um, this is your allowed list. Basically exceptions. Um, you can add exceptions into here. Like right now it automatically added in um, a toolbar. I'm not sure which one. Oh, this is my instant buzz. The one that I just restored. That's the toolbar. And then my internet explorer. Okay. And you can add your own. Just click add and find it in your computer. Okay, now you have your block list where you can block certain programs and files and folders from accessing your computer and whatnot. Um, now you have an update check. An update check basically, you click this and you will run an update process. See, check for new updates. An update process to um, update your virus database so you always stay up to date with different viruses that are being found and your program recognizes them so you always very important always check for new updates as often as you can sometimes I do it every four hours with my AVG now like I said I have AVG because I just got this program um okay now that we have gone over all of the antivirus and antispyware we'll move on to diagnose now we have PC Diagnostics. Apparently this program from the researching that I've done has a hundred plus tests that it does on your computer in each one of these. So you're really getting down and dirty with what's going on in your computer, even if you don't know if anything's going on in your computer. So if you can't read this here, it says PC Diagnostics, diagnose your hardware to find problem areas, error tracker, track and view Windows error messages, System Explorer, see what's been happening in your system right now. 
media verifier. Be sure removable be removable excuse me media can be read without errors. Smart disk check. Hard drive failure failure early warning system. That definitely sounds like something that could be used. I'm constantly destroying my hard drives because I actually spend a lot of time on the computer doing stuff like this and reviewing programs just so people like you who may not have the money to restore a lost computer or the knowledge to do it don't have to. I'd rather go through it myself. Now you have system monitors. This is monitor system resources, the resources of your computer. Um, system log view log of fixit utilities. This is for the program itself, not for your computer. Okay, so now we're done with diagnose. We're going to move on to fix and maintain. Fix and maintain. Uh, we have registry fixer, which I'm not going to get into further detail about what your registry is. It's a series of keys. Blah, 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 blah. We'd be sitting here forever if I tried to explain it to all of you. So I'm just going to hope that some of you either just trust me on this or some of you may know. So this is going to fix the errors in the registry. Um, this is registry editor, which is basically just like reg edit. If you were to go to start, run, and type reg edit, it would be this. This is what you would get. Okay. Fairly simple. Um, I highly suggest you don't mess with anything in that unless you have specific instructions from someone like your ISP or your, you know, people you bought your computer from, whatever, Dell, HP, you know, Acer. Okay, moving on. Disk fixer. Automatically diagnose and fix disk problems. System scheduler. Schedule fix at utility tasks. Okay. Uh, I imagine this will allow you to set scans, maybe. Okay, here we go. We can click on any of these programs, the different tools inside the program itself, and click Schedule. And we will be able to choose once, or daily, or weekly, time, date, whatever. Now plus two minutes. Okay, so you get the idea of that. Okay, now we have Windows Update. Um, you actually have this already integrated into your computer, but some of you may have trouble finding it. So this could help you. This is to download uh, Windows updates for your actual operating system um, to avoid vulnerabilities on your computer. And some just typical updates. You usually want to get that pretty often. I usually do Windows Update automatically. Uh, clock sync. Synchronize your system clock to a known time source. Basically synchronize your clock in the bottom right of your screen way down there somewhere past my screen recorder region. We'll synchronize that with a known time source. Moving on to optimize. Um, this is basically you're going to optimize your computer for your best performance. Um, System Optimizer. Improve Windows performance. Um, it's going to optimize, excuse me, optimize your computer itself. I'm not sure what's going on here. Hmm. Maybe I've already run that, I don't know. Not sure, maybe we have found a flaw in the program, but not to worry, maybe that's just a bad install, or maybe I just don't need to optimize my system. <coughs> okay, improve Windows boot performance. Your boot performance is how fast your computer is going to start up and be ready to go when you